In this two-part video series, we look at the digital delivery platform GoPuff, specifically signing up to be a driver. And in this video, we're gonna go through the entire onboarding process, assuming you've already been activated, because there's an actual quiz that they need you to pass to get access to this platform. So if you have any questions, definitely comment down below, as well as checking the time codes linked down below in the description. So number one here, just quick driver benefits. Work on your own, there is flexible work schedules, and number three, good earnings. So first question, as a driver partner, number one, you are free to decide your own schedule. Number two, you must ensure that your driver's license meets state requirements. And then number three, you are your own boss. So let's select this and move onward. So with a lot of these apps, they're gonna use a direct deposit to your bank account. So this is just some information on setting that up a little bit later. This is with Alti Pro, some info here. one to make sure you get paid and to update your direct deposit information you'll use which of the following and again that's just what we mentioned the alti pro question number two to create and manage your shifts you should download which of these and this is actually when i work it's interesting that gopuff just doesn't do this within one app here you do have to download the when i work app as well question number three you'll deliver your orders using the go drive app so let's select that answer and let's check out our next presentation. Okay, question number one, driver partners use only two parts of the When I Work app. Open shifts available and what? Time off requests, shift history, and shift requests. The correct answer here is number three, shift requests. Next question, to see which shifts are open, you go to, and here we'll click on open shifts available. Next, to select a shift to work, click on the shift you want, and then choose drop shift, offer shift, or take shift, it is number three, we'll click on take shift. Nextly, if you're no longer available for a shift, you should drop it at least an hour before, as early as possible, or as soon as your shift has started. And here the correct answer is as early as possible. Okay, the next part is hitting the road and actually making deliveries. And this walkthrough is pretty helpful as far as just doing a mock order here. So let's click on, let's do this. And we'll go through this training here to log into the, again, the driver app here. It is the Go Drive app. Okay, so here's your main screen of the GoPuff driver app. Again, the Go Drive app. So there is a lot to see here. I don't think this is as intuitive as some other gig economy apps. But at the top, you can see feedback. You do have a referral link to actually refer GoPuff customers. There's announcements and then facility information. Now that's interesting. That's actually a little bit different than other, you know, delivery or food delivery apps. With GoPuff, there's actually one central warehouse for your marketplace. So you're going to grab a shift and then you actually head to that facility, that warehouse first. So this is our home screen. If we click on our earnings, let's check this out here. So here we can see, of course, the daily earnings. We have the breakdown by delivery. We have the number of deliveries we've completed that we've started and then a breakdown for tips as well. And then if we click over to weekly, we can see that weekly breakdown, of course, as well, as well as a further breakdown by week. If we click over here to support, we do have different support options as far as frequently asked questions. We have a user guide as well as being able to share feedback. And then next, if we click over to account, of course, there's all of our account information, our driver info, license info, etc. Now, one thing I would look at as a new driver is the preferences. So I would click on preferences and I would go into maps. Now, personally, I would use Google Maps. We can see it's recommended here as well. 
And you can also use Apple Maps, or if you have Waze installed, you can use Waze as well. Okay, but let's assume we're ready to drive. Let's click back on the home screen here. And then we'll actually click on and slide the start workday to actually start receiving requests. So remember with GoPuff, it is different because of that central warehouse. So instead of, you know, picking up from a restaurant, picking up order A at this restaurant, et cetera, we're gonna to go to that restaurant and then actually pick up our customer orders from there. So we can see here, picked up zero out of four that are assigned to us. Now you can see the actual location of the order here. You can see it says bin one. And then if you click on the orders, you can actually see what is on the order just to make sure you're picking the right items as well. So let's assume that we're picking all these up. So we'll just slide to confirm pickup and then we'll see the status update here. Cool, so we've picked up all of our orders on our assigned route. So let's now look at actually delivering an order. Okay, so here's our delivery destination. We can see the address. We can see an arrow icon just to activate our GPS. Now what happens if there's trouble actually reaching the customer here? So let's find out if we click on having trouble. We see an option that says can't reach customer or can't find address. So let's assume we can't reach the customer here. So we do have a countdown here, five minutes to actually wait for a response from the customer. So we do have some prompts here that you do have to follow. Number one, knock on the door, call the customer, so we'll do that. Nextly, send in the text message. After that, call in again, and then finally knock it again. So after all of that, we do get a prompt here. It says, it seems you're unable to deliver. Would you like to notify customer service? Then it says, keep trying or notify. So if we do notify, it says, contact your facility. Let your facility know that you're unable to deliver. But let's assume that we can move on and make the next delivery here. So there is a note for actually no contact delivery. That is important to note here. Now there's notes for the driver. And then there's actually a prompt to take a bag photo, just a delivery confirmation picture. So let's do that. Okay, so we'll snap a picture and we see the picture being added here. And then we can swipe on complete to drop off. And very nice, we got a $1 tip there. So it's nice to see that we will earn tips on these deliveries. Okay, next we have some training on staying safe.
Okay, question number one, no contact delivery is a default for all orders, that is true. Question number two, on non-contact orders, you can simply drop the package at the address and leave. That's false, remember we do need to take a picture there to confirm. Question number three, if the customer is present, you can actually hand them the package directly. Now surprisingly here, we can see this is actually not true. GoPuff is really encouraging the social distance here. So if we are coming in contact with the customer, again, they want us to practice safe social distancing. Next question, the customer is not required to sign for the order. That is true, again, because of social distancing and no contact deliveries. As a driver, you can actually sign and mark COVID-19 checked on behalf of the customer. Question number five, if you are feeling ill, you should come to the facility to have your temperature check. That is false. Okay, next, Lee, let's get some information about your earnings as a driver. So this is prompting us, select all of the correct statements and it says you'll earn money only if you get orders. So option number one, you'll receive an hourly boost if your commission falls below a minimum subsidy amount. Number two, again, it says you'll earn money only if you get orders. Number three, you'll share your tips with other driver partners. Number four, your commission depends on the number of orders you've delivered. And then lastly, you'll earn bigger rewards if you deliver more orders. Now, maybe surprisingly, it's actually false that you'll earn money only if you get orders. And it says here you'll earn a base whenever you come in for your shift. So I'm not sure why that's listed above, but it's just a heads up so you know there. But it is true that you'll receive an hourly boost. It is true that your commission depends on the number of orders you've delivered. And then it is true that you'll earn bigger rewards if you deliver more orders. Okay, so now let's get some success tips for driving on the GoPuff platform. So here, decide if these are examples of good or bad advice for drivers. Question number one, reading the special instructions added by customers. Is that good advice or bad advice? That's good advice, so let's mark that. Number two, contacting the customer before the delivery. Good advice, bad advice. That is good advice, maybe something comes up. For whatever reason, we can't make the delivery, etc. That is good advice. 
Question number three, avoiding conversations with your customer. Interesting. Good advice or bad advice? So here it is kind of going back to that last question here. That's bad advice. Again, if there's any problems, any reason you do need to reach out to your customer, that is the better advice. And then lastly, grabbing your order from the bin without reading the labels to save time. Pretty obvious, bad advice. Awesome, so we've completed the walkthrough questionnaire here. So let's click on continue application and see what it tells us. So now it says, let us know how we can pay you. Well, awesome. Then we have some instructions for setting up that direct deposit so you can get paid. So that is the complete walkthrough of the onboarding process to become a GoPuff driver. Now, if you do wanna see the application process again, I'll leave a card linked above. But in this video, if you did get value, it definitely drop me a like, and you can also click or tap the screen here for my newest video as well as a video recommended for you. And I'll see you in the next one.